Um, let me ask you about something else. Dennis Rodman, in his outburst, the former NBA player, is in North Korea for a basketball game. The purpose of the game, to honor dictator Kim Jong-un on his birthday. And during an interview, Rodman suddenly ranting and raving, trying to defend his trip. And today, the controversy making it all way to the White House press briefing. Press Secretary Jay Carney saying, the U.S. government does not vet private travel. Sam, your thought? Uh, I think Dennis Rodman would probably do the world a lot of good if he just stayed home away from airplanes and television cameras and let this all go away. That's right. I mean, he's a loose cannon, and I don't blame the White House for not wanting to endorse his actions or ally themselves in any way, because we frankly don't know what's going to happen to him. Anyone who's spending time that closely with the regime is putting themselves in danger. Those people are enormously dangerous. We really don't know what the end of this story is going to be. Loose cannon, lost soul, I think, when you saw that rant today, but also a loose cannon. And there's almost something satirical about it because, you know, but this White House has really centralized foreign policy. You know, Hillary Clinton and John Kerry have been kept on a pretty short leash. So even the Secretary of State hasn't really been allowed to go out and freelance all that much. They really like to do the policy in the National Security Council, and they're kind of control freaks. So now you have Dennis Rodman, you know, muddling up the, our North Korea policy, and it must just kind of drive them a little crazy, and they want nothing to do with it, and it's clear they just they won't even touch it. I've been there three times to North Korea, and Dennis Rodman is clearly visiting a different North Korea than I visited. And uh, he's quite comical, but it's enormously serious to the world. And to have him sort of, you know, going rogue and freelancing out there with a country that, I mean, if the execution of the uncle, the nuclear weapons, I mean, it's like a development. I mean, it's just, I mean, and there's nothing that, I mean, I don't blame the Obama administration for putting distance. They can't do anything about him. That's right. I mean, he's putting a veneer of legitimacy on a regime that's enormously dangerous to its own people, and he doesn't want to acknowledge that. I don't think he understands. I, I can't believe he even, I don't, maybe he doesn't understand that. It's possible he doesn't. He, he's not a, a serious diplomat, of course. I mean, he, he has no idea, it's likely. I, I really think he's a lost soul and he's a troubled guy, but you saw, interestingly, some of the, at least one of the players who went over with him is now expressing some remorse, and I think if you saw their faces in that wacky interview he did today, those guys looked pretty mortified, and however much they were getting paid, uh, NBA Commissioner David Stern alleged today that they were blinded by the big payday, I think they were starting to feel some regret if you saw the, uh, the embarrassment on their faces. Yeah, but I mean, I, I, it's, it's amazing, though, that he doesn't understand how he's being played. You know, that he doesn't, I mean, you know, maybe there was a, you know, in the beginning I sort of thought, well, maybe he could sort of be, you know, open the door and get Kim Jong-un to sort of maybe want to come, you know, to come around a little bit. But in light of everything that's happened with the uncle, it's like, you know, that's dreamy. It's almost worse than he's being played. It's like he is advancing the agenda. This guy is a good leader. And there's a reason he said today this hostage is being held there. It's almost like he's becoming a propagandist, not just a dupe. It is, I can tell you, it is, you know, it is a terrible place and the things are happening to people where they're just unthinkable you know it's like um, but anyway Dennis Rodman anyway panel thank you very much